One of the key principles of zero trust is the practice of least privilege. Users should have the least amount of access in order to allow them to perform their responsibilities and nothing more. Okta's lifecycle management provides automation and guide rails to ensure users are provisioned birthright accesses when they are onboarded and as they change roles throughout their career. Users are also able to request new accesses via Okta Access Requests, which provide checks and balances to ensure these requests are reviewed and approved before being provisioned. But to fully round out the art of lease privilege, we need to ensure users don't accumulate accesses that are no longer required. From an organizational standpoint, it's critical to understand who has access to what resources and to make sure users' access to these resources are certified periodically by designated reviewers within the organization. This is where Okta's access certification campaigns can help organizations get to a place where they ensure only the right users have access to the right resources. Let me show you how to do this in Okta. Hi, I'm an Okta administrator and I've been asked to launch a certification campaign to ensure access to our Miro application is still required for our users. I've already configured the certification campaign using the five easy steps we see here. I'd scheduled the campaign to start tomorrow in order to allow me some time to confirm I've configured all I need. But since it looks good, I'll manually launch the campaign right now. So we can see the campaign is being prepared to launch here. And once it's ready, it'll show up on the active tab. Great. Now the campaign is active and should be sending out recertification requests to the reviewers. Let me just confirm the campaign has found some users whose accesses need to be reviewed. Let's click on the campaign. And here I can see, in addition to the configuration information of the campaign, I can see there are three total pending reviews. And down below, we can see a little more information. I found three users here. I can click on each user to find some more details. So the name of the user, the resource asking to be reviewed, who the reviewer is, and the current status of the certification. Close that out. Here I can also reassign. I'll just reassign this one to the application owner here and provide some justification. All looks good now. Hello, I'm a sales manager and I've just received a notification to review an application access. Click on the notification link brings me to the reviews assigned to me for this campaign. Looks like I have two pending requests to review. Yes, yeah, so I can see these are for two users on my team and their access to the Miro application. I'm just going to take a closer look at these. Leveraging Okta's converged IAM and governance platform, I'm given an unparalleled comprehensive view of the user's access patterns. With this enriched context, I'm able to quickly make informed decisions when reviewing certification requests. From here, I can see Bob never actually used this access. In addition to that, I also know he's no longer involved in the project that required this access. So I'm going to go ahead and revoke it. And for Sally, take a look here. I know she's still involved, so I'll go ahead and approve. That was easy. Bob was already logged into his Octa dashboard before his Miro access was revoked. Here we can see the Miro app was available to Bob on his dashboard. If Bob attempts to access Miro, he's no longer able to. The Miro application no longer appears on his dashboard after refreshing. As you've seen here, with Okta certification campaigns, we can continually ensure our users only retain the minimal accesses they require, allowing us to strengthen our zero trust security posture. Thanks for watching.